What's happening guys? Welcome back to the Whiskey Shed. My name is John McGrath and this is my new YouTube channel where I, as a complete novice, take a sojourn through the world of whiskey and share the experience with you guys. So welcome along. Now, most of you guys probably already know me if you're not new here. I have a pre-existing channel where I do a lot of woodworking, hence the background behind me, and hence the name of the channel. I'm actually in my shed now, or workshop, so hence the name the Whiskey Shed. So like I say, I'm a complete novice. I'm not a whiskey, whiskey expert. I've tried many of the big brand whiskies, but now I want to get into the more uh, nicer whiskies, I suppose, and try them for the first time and share this experience online. As like I say, I take a travel through this world of whiskey. So without further ado, today we have a bottle of Mitchell and Sons Green Spot. Irish single pot still whiskey to try. So let's do it. Okay, so before we nose and taste this whiskey, we'll jump into a little bit of a history lesson and a little bit of background on Green Spot by Mitchell and Sons. Now, William Mitchell set up a business in Dublin in 1805 on Grafton Street, I believe. He was a baker and confectionist, and later the business moved into wine and spirit sales. So naturally enough, being wine and spirit merchants and importing wine and spirit casks, they had lots of wine casks and sherry casks and port casks left over when they were empty from selling all the wine and sherry. And they are perfect for uh, aging whiskey in. So that's exactly what they decided to do. So they bought distillate from the Jameson distillery, which was on Bow Street, and they matured their own whiskey. So they had like Oloroso barrels, which would be a darker sherry, and then they had some lighter sherry casks. So the green spot was matured for five years at the same time in the darker sherry and light sherry, then those two uh, five-year whiskies were blended and then matured for a further five years in virgin oak casks, I believe. Then you had a total of a 10-year matured whiskey, a 10-year-old whiskey, which was green spot. Now they also had a yellow spot and a red spot. The yellow spot, I believe, is 12-year-old and the red spot is a 15-year-old, if I'm not much mistaken. There was also a blue spot, but they don't sell blue spot anymore. And that was a seven-year-old whiskey. And the green spot comes from the paint spot that they put on the cask to denote the age of the whiskey in the cask. And that's where the name comes from. And you have the little paint spot on the front of the bottle here. So there you go, there's a little history lesson. Now today's Mitchell & Sons green spot is completely distilled and matured at the Middleton plant in Cork. So at the Middleton Irish Distillers Distillery, it is completely 100% made there. It's no longer made in Dublin. The Jemson Distillery closed down, I think, in 1971 or 1970-ish in Dublin. And uh, everything was consolidated to the Middleton plant or distillery in Cork. So it's 100% made there now, like Redbreast. It is a single pot still Irish whiskey and single pot still whiskey is unique to Ireland. So single refers to the distillery, as I've learned. So the single, single distillery. The pot still is the pot still, obviously not a column still. It's the traditional way of distilling whiskey. And it is a mix of malted and unmalted barley, which gives it that unique kind of spiciness that you also get in the red breast. So let's jump in and have a little taste of this. Okay, on the nose. Now straight away, green spot jumps out of the glass. That's the very first thing I noticed, as opposed to the red breast. This to me just it's like a smack of orange peel. I get it straight away. It's a fruitiness and a floral nature to it. It really does jump out. If you are just getting into the whiskies like I am and you really want to smell the difference in the notes between some whiskies, Green Spot is a great one because it just, it, it smells fantastic. It is like a, I like a country kitchen full of fruit. I always get a, a vision in my head when I um, smell the whiskey. If, green, if red breast is a Christmas day by the fire, a Christmas night, that cold winter kind of richness of the fruit cake, of the Christmas cake, this is like a harvest kitchen on a warm September's day, like today, with all the windows open and a fresh breeze blowing through. That's what I get. If that sounds a little bit crazy, that's what I get when I put my nose in this whiskey. You get all the floral notes. It smells really kind of, has a real nice freshness to it and I really get the orange peel. Now on the bottom they say green apple. I certainly don't get any green apple for it, but that's just me. And again, this can be very subjective to the individual person uh, nosing the whiskey, but it definitely has a lovely fruity zestiness to it, a kind of a lightness and an airiness to it. That's the best way I can describe it. As a novice uh, whiskey drinker, that is my best description I can come up with. It is really, really nice. And on the palate, Yeah, 
Again, it has a lightness and a fruity floral nature to it. It's not as deep and as dark as the red breast. It's definitely, it feels more lighter, airier, if that's even a word to use for a taste. You can definitely get the floral hints and some toasted oak on the back of it, some oak. One great thing about being a woodworker, I work with a lot of American oak and I can certainly pick the oak out. That's one uh, taste and scent I can get, the hint of the oak barrel that's left after it's matured in the cask. Again, back on the nose. It's just that lovely floral. It is a country kitchen with all the fruits in it after harvest time with the windows open and the fresh air blowing in off the grass. That's the best way I can describe it. That's what comes to mind as soon as I put my nose in this glass. It's very, very nice. I highly recommend this whiskey if you like that kind of style. And again, it has that spice, that spiciness that you get from this pot still, single pot still, malted and unmalted barley that has that kind of classic Irish whiskey note. Now, from what I'm told, the single pot still, like with the red breast, is the quintessential taste of Irish whiskey. And that's certainly here. Like my Christmas cake analogy in the last one, it's like someone had just baked a Christmas cake and walked through that country kitchen maybe 10 minutes ago. So it's definitely in the background. You can definitely still get the cake, that fruit cake and those spices, maybe some cloves even. Yeah, very, very nice. So I'm gonna let it sit again for a few minutes in the glass. It just brings all that spices again to the forefront. I find what I get from whiskey when I leave it sit for a little while, um, it definitely brings, the Irish whiskeys that I've tried at least, it brings all the spices, the cinnamon and the kind of nutmeg and even some cloves to the forefront. The floral kind of tones have died off a small bit and the zestiness. And now it's just that kind of bacon spice. Yeah, it's really nice and uh, it's, it's, it's not overpowering. There's no real strong smell of ethanol off it. So it's, it's, it's lovely and smooth. I, I think the expression is maybe the edges have been knocked off through the aging process, if I'm getting that right. And now, yeah, it, having, it let, having it let it sit for a few minutes, it was a big punch of floral notes and then I can really taste the oak on the back of the tongue. That's what I got from that. So yeah, a very, very nice whiskey. I do recommend it. Now, it is a 40% alcohol by volume. And I believe 40% is the minimum level that you can get to and call a whiskey a whiskey. So it is at the 40% mark. Um, 56 euro is exactly what I paid for this. You can find it for a lot more, and I'm not sure too much less than that. So I didn't give the price of the red breast in the last one. I think I paid 66 euros for the red breast. This is 56 euros. This is now more widely available. I believe you can certainly get this in, the, in America and across the states of America. It is more widely available in Europe. I think they're definitely selling into France from what I've read online, but I've seen lots of American reviewers and American places sell this uh, green spot now. So yeah, definitely check this one out. Okay guys, there we go. That has been video number two on my new channel. This has been my opinion on Mitchell & Sons Green Spot Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey. Now I have to say, this so far, of, of the handful of nice whiskies that I've tasted, this one really hammered home what people talk about when they nose and taste whiskey. You can really taste and smell everything that's in this bottle. It just jumps out to meet you. So I get what everybody's talking about now when I watch other whiskey reviewers. If you think, oh, are these guys spoofing? Um, no, certainly not with this whiskey. This whiskey, I think, um, will, if you're a novice like me and you're getting into the world of whiskey and you put your nose in this glass, you will certainly get smacked in the face with some orange zest and floral notes and that country kitchen fresh air blowing in off the fields kind of smell. At least I did anyway. And it really, uh, yeah, so far I think this is one of my favorite whiskeys that I've tasted in the handful that I've tried. And uh, it's the second whiskey that I'm reviewing on this channel. So, hope you've enjoyed that guys. Hopefully you found it interesting. Again, comments and questions below. What whiskeys are your favorite whiskeys? What do you think I should try? What would you like to see? Uh, how is your whiskey journey going? And all that good stuff. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share the video. That would help me out a lot. So. We need to propose a toast now. So we'll end every video. I'll try and end every video with a toast, but I think I will run out of toasts very, very quickly. So I have another Irish toast for you. So 
May the worst days of your future be better than the best days of your past. Sláinte. I shall see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy. Fresh and fruity. That's a good whiskey, in my novice opinion.